Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Hearthstone Heroes of Warcraft. Now some of you might welcome not know- to my end. Now, so <laughs> Shut up. Now some of you might not know what Heroes of Warcraft or Hearthstone is. Now this is a kind of trading card game but without any physical trading cards and it's kind of within the world of Warcraft, literally. And uh, it's a game I've recently found that's been really good. There's a huge competitive scene for it and I thought well this must be a good game because people compete in it. Then I realized people compete in everything. But actually I found that I got really addicted to this because not only can you play it on PC and Mac, you can also play it on your phone. So I can actually play this out and about while I'm commuting and stuff. So I thought I'd show you guys a little bit of what it's like. So basically we're gonna get straight into a game, see what happens. Worthy opponent, let's do this. Jaina versus Valera. Boobs, <laughs> boobs everywhere. Okay, so you flip a coin, and whoever comes, who doesn't guess right, goes second. But at the beginning of every round, you get to replace a card. Now, the number at the top left is called your mana. Now, your mana goes up and up every turn. The coin, which you get if you lose the coin toss, adds one extra mana to you. Oh, oh my god, I've just had three damage dealt to me already. So basically, aside from the whole mana thing, what you've got to do is you've got to get your hero, which is this one here with the number 27 there, that means I've been hit. You've got to basically attack the enemy's hero with your monsters and get them down to zero health. Using what, you know, whatever you've got. So, I'm going to use this. This is that coin I told you about. So that adds a mana crystal down here. So I'm going to... Uh, what am I going to do? I'm going to summon this, because it's got charge, which means it can attack immediately. And then I'm going to play this. And that adds two little monsters with taunt. And what taunt does, taunt means they can't attack your hero without having to kill them first. So it's kind of a handy defensive thing. I've seen quite a few people play this. I remember Markiplier was playing this at a, at a convention. I think it might have been PAX Prime a few years ago. And uh, he was absolutely thrashed by a couple of people. And then a really good friend of mine who I ran into recently told me that this is a really, really good game. You should totally play it. And I was like, oh, no way, man. Probably sucks. I was wrong. It does not suck. It's good fun. It depends how into this kind of game thing you are. I was a huge Yu-Gi-Oh fan back in the day, so games like this are uh, especially fun for me. Yes! Right. Haha! <laughs> See, if this was more like Yu-Gi-Oh, it would be a lot more cringe. Everyone would be going, haha, you activated my trap card! Actually, that would sound pretty similar to that, to be honest. But I never really- I mean, I tried getting into World of Warcraft. Jesus. Yeah, I tried getting into World of Warcraft, and uh, whilst it does suck you in and make you play it over and over and over again, and, you know, play it forever, it's not- I, I didn't particularly enjoy it. I know it's got a huge fan base, so I'm obviously in the, uh, the distinct minority when it comes to that. But, you know, I like this. I've never played the real-time strategy versions of Warcraft, which I think is where it all came from. But I've, yeah, StarCraft and Warcraft, I think they're done by both by Blizzard. But I've never really been a big fan of real-time strategy games. I never played Age of Empires growing up. And that's one of the few things that most gamer friends of mine go, what? Because it, uh, No! Ah. Oh. That guy screwed me. Good thing it's my turn. It's my turn, Kyber. Well, that costs nothing, so I might as well throw him out. These only cost one each, and they're, uh, yeah, I'll restore two health. No-brainer. Uh, I'll put you out, because you're a taunt. I've still got enough to put you out. Yeah, I'll put you out, you're a taunt as well. Okay, so I can't attack this turn. I can't attack this turn, so I end my turn. And all that. Sometimes people, I think there is a pay-to-win element of this, so you can actually buy packs of cards, and boss, that's great for people who want to spend their money and want to dedicate a lot of time to this. For someone like me, that basically means that everyone who I play against online is, is really good, and I'm not. And I don't really like that. I don't really like that. I gotta like to win when I play games. Wow, that really screwed me. Oh, but I got to draw a card because of this man's special effect. Take anyone out, dude. Do it. Backstab, deal two damage to an undamaged minion. That's a weird card. <laughs> I think it might be a bit more like Magic the Gathering, but I never actually played Magic the Gathering. I heard about how it worked because I used to play Duel Masters circa 2004, 2005. Those are the days. And now we're in 2016, which is exciting. Now I just sound like a crap radio show trying to, you know, trying to sound current. Oh, yeah. And I leveled up, so 
all in all, a pretty successful version of that game. So you guys pretty much get the idea of what Hearthstone is. It's that kind of traded card game. You use the mana, you use the spells, you use the monsters. It's really good fun. And so if you are the kind of person who likes to play these kind of games, I really heartily recommend it. Get it on your phone and, you know, sign up for an account. Get straight in. You get given free cards and free packs of cards just for being on it. So thanks very much for watching, guys. I've been Ed, and it's been really fun playing this game, and I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it. Leave us a like and a subscribe because it really does help out the channel, and let us know any other games that you want us to play. We'll catch you next time, guys. Second bottom of the team. Man, I suck. Okay, so I did really badly, but hey, I helped. I helped. A uh, prop from a film starring Reese Willis, quite an old film. Uh, oh, Die Hard? No, um, it's got a woman with very strange uh, ginger hair in it. Um, Jurassic World? No, sci-fi theme.